Hundreds of people gathered at St. Peter Catholic Church this afternoon to pay their final respects to Congressman Walter B. Jones, Jr. Good evening. I'm Shayla Reeves. Thank you for joining us. Ken Watling is off tonight. Funeral services took place for Congressman Jones this afternoon. He represented North Carolina's 3rd Congressional District for more than 20 years and called Farmville home. Nine of your sides, Brandon Truitt, attended the Mass in Greenville. He joins us now from outside the church. Brandon, what was it like inside the church today? Shayla was incredibly moving and emotional at times. We heard of six eulogies, all painting a picture of who Jones was, some of them having great stories of him in his younger career. But one of the most moving moments came from a mother and daughter who met Jones in the worst of times. The funeral for Congressman Walter B. Jones might almost seem normal from the outside. Singing, praying, and eulogies honoring the life lost. But one difference here, the stories were unmatched. At that time, I, I did not know him yet, but I knew that he was an important leader. Connie Gruber was the first of six eulogists. She first met the congressman in 2000. Her husband, a Marine, had just been killed in an Osprey accident. How awesome it was that he would take the time to come and be there for us and to be for, there for the brave Marines. Whom he did not know. Her husband's funeral would start a 19 year friendship with Jones. The military ruled her husband's crash as pilot error, but it was faulty equipment ending his life. Jones would work alongside Connie and her daughter Brooke for 14 years to fix the case. I'll also say goodbye to the great man who stood by me all those years and defended my father. Brooke last saw Jones at her ceremony, announcing her acceptance to the U.S. Military Academy at West Point. I was so happy and proud to have him there and very happy when he also commented, and good Lord willing, I will be there for you at your graduation next May. We know that moment will not come, but Jones leaves Brooke with a trail of memories on how a congressman helped a grieving mother and daughter. So many great stories shared throughout that service today. Aside from his work with the military, I asked what his legacy might be from those who knew him best today, and many of them saying it was his faith in Shayla that was fully on display today.